Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit, I want to show you something that people don't look at it that much, and that's a homepage. The homepage is going to give you some insight. It's going to basically review the work that you do, and it's going to give you some tips and tricks. Yes, let's just look at it, see how we can learn some stuff from our homepage in Revit. So in this session, we want to take a look at the homepage. This is easy. I know every single person who kind of open up Revit will be able to see this page. So most of the time, we just kind of pass by, open our project and get into it. And we don't really know what we have exactly on this page that we can use. So I wanted to create this short video to show uh, and share with you guys like what you can get from here and what the items you can receive from this page So the first one when you come over here, it's open. This is Basically, you can open any Revit model that you have. This is a location that you go and open the models. So as soon as you do that, if you have anything on your local drive, you'll be able to open it up using open. And just pay attention to the file types. So all supported file types that the Revit can open is going to be .rvt, which is a Revit file, .rfa, which is the families, we're going to talk about it, and also it's going to be .rte, which is a Revit template. So if you have any template created in your company, uh, that's going to be the basically the file format for it, and you'll be able, that's basically the type that you'll be able to use. So these are all the other projects that you can see. If I do for the Revit, you have the rvt, Revit, file families and template so we know right now what you can open up with Revit exactly and if you see these file tabs you know what they are right so this is actual Revit this is family and this one is a template so the next one is, is just a new so if you want to start something from the scratch you hit new it's going to open up for you. You have metric imperial based on your region. You can select what you have. And if you want to do a new project, you basically open it up over here. But if you have any template created in your company or anything that you have, it has a certain views, has a certain like a sheet number, any template that you're going to start your project on, you come to the project template and open it up. So. This is all you can get from the new and open. This is under the model. So the models that we want to open, use this one. If you want to open any new one or the template Revit models, we go to the new. The next one is the families. So the families are basically um, a building blocks of Revit. So we have two types of families one of them is component the other one are systems right so systems are like wall roofs um you know floor so these are that you create in your project you cannot save them you cannot reload them you cannot take them from one project to another project so these are the ones that can be created in the project while you're working on it cannot be safe cannot be uh kind of uh you know save it and open it up in a different project that's the systems the component ones are basically a standalone files right so if you want a standalone files that you have a family for it and as we talked about is a dot uh, rfa so these are, you can save them. Let's say if you have a certain light type, a certain coupling, certain connection in your company that you're using. If you have a certain um, piece of furniture that you model those and you save them as a component. So these are, can be in your library and you can bring it in to different project so this is the two important part if you want to open models here if you want to open families from here for the new 
um, same thing you just kind of click on it and you can see like these are type of the families that Revit has in it that you'll be able to open it up and you kind of use it like some type of door curtain walls you know some detail items so there's like a bunch of them over here that you will be able to use like a title block for the different sheets so you can kind of open all of these and you'll be able to kind of open them up and these are the, basically the template that are saved under the families. As we talked about, this is what you call it, right? RFT is for the template. But if you get these guys, create a family, the file type is going to turn into RFA, which is going to be your families. So the main thing here to remember families, two types, system and component. Component can be saved and um, kind of taken from one project to another project, but the systems are the ones that you are working in the project that cannot be saved as a standalone model and kind of taken from one another one project to another. Uh, coming down here, we have the recent files. So anything that you recently open, you'll be able to save them here uh, uh, and see them. Autodesk docs. So if you basically um, have some sort of uh, uh, account that you'll be able to kind of use you can come to the Autodesk docs open all your files and you'll be able to see the files that you have on Autodesk um, the next one is my site so my site is basically um, it's optimizing your workflow so Revit is going to collect the data, how you work, and going to give you some recommendation based on your work and basically tell you how better you can use it. So right here basically says frequently multiple elements at one time. You can use select all elements from the right click menu once the element is selected to select. So basically if you want to, um, it's giving me a tip. So if I want to, um, let's say select all instances for the doors I can right click select all of them or change all of them or for the grid so this one basically just going through your workflow giving you a little bit tips and tricks based on what you are doing so I would recommend that's what I do I just look at these once in a while see what are the recommendation what are the tips that you can apply to your workflow to make it even better because this is a great tool this is a free tool that's gonna give you a real good tip on a workflow that you're doing on a daily basis and also if you basically go on a website like Autodesk and says look for insight this is what's gonna tell you that's the information that you can use in Revit and tips on how you can optimize your experience it basically it's a good explanation over here it's gonna tell you how what how types they generate based on the product usage data also how often you are receiving the insight is going to be once a month so basically it's going to collect the data during a month that you're working on and it's going to give you a tips and tricks on how you are working on your items this is a way that they uh, collect the data um, and also how they use the data and then if somebody let's say nobody uh, somebody doesn't want to see uh, the my insights they can kind of want to turn it off it's here it says it cannot be turned off but you can go to your privacy settings which is going to be go to profile and settings in Autodesk account portal that you have and click the setting tabs under the setting policy changes to the desired and click save and close so it basically you can you can kind of cannot turn it off here but you can go to the pro, uh, product privacy settings um, to basically remove it and if you want to disable it from my inside Revit home like you don't want to see it over there um, this is how you can do it these are all the steps all uh, basically available over here for you uh, and Autodesk help. So I thought this is something that nobody's kind of taking a look. Um, I think it's important. It's going to give you tips and tricks. My recommendation is don't turn it off. Use whatever Autodesk provides for you and then learn from it because this kind of analyzing your workflow, your uh, how you work in Revit and it's going to create some tips and tricks and provide you to that. Um, hope that you guys liked today's video.
Um, if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.